All right, so now we want to create the view function up here. You can see that we're in the articles controller, and then we have a method called view, and then we just have the ID of the article, and that's what these articles link to. Okay, so we'll go into the controller, the articles controller, and we'll create public function view and that's going to get an ID which will be passed in through the URL all right so we want to get the menu items again so um, just copy this here all right and then we want to get a single article so we'll say data article is equal to this article model get underscore article and then we're going to pass in the ID and then we're just going to load the view okay and this the view is going to be the inner template Okay, so now we just need to create this model function get article. So we'll go to articles model. Okay, this is a simple method. We're just going to pass in the ID and we're going to say where ID equals whatever the ID is. And then we're just going to query the articles table and then return a row. Okay, we're not going to return an array. Well, we are going to return an array, but it's not going to be a results array. It's going to be just a single row. Okay, so uh, make sure you have row instead of result. And then in the inner, which we haven't created yet, um, I'm just going to copy the home stuff, the home view, and paste that in the inner view, except we want to get rid of this jumbotron. and also we don't need a unordered list I'm just gonna paste this in okay so basically we're creating a row then a 12 column div and then we're gonna have the heading with the article title and then the article body so very simple alright so if we reload this okay we're getting an error in the controller line 14 public function view oh we have an extra curly brace okay and there's our inner page now if we go to services okay so we are getting there alright so one thing that we did do that we didn't do is the logo so we need to add the logo to the inner and the home view so we'll start with the home view and right now we just have this sample site text but what we want to do is include our image our logo image and we will upload that in the settings but for now I'm just gonna grab it let's see in our assets folder let's create a images folder and I just want to grab the logo from the from the done application which is right here assets images I'm just gonna grab this my logo alright and let's make sure that that's what it is in the database in our settings table Okay, so you can see that the logo is mylogo.jpg. So we're just going to add that into here. I'm going to say image src is going to be equal to php echo base url assets slash images slash 
and then our logo value from the from the database from the settings table. So I'm going to copy this. Let it go. Right here. So images slash and then logo. All right. Whoops. So we have our database logo. And then for the alt tag, let's make that the site name or the site title. All right, so that's the home. Let's test it out. All right, so there's our logo. We want to do the same thing for the inner view. So let me just grab this whole thing. And we want to go to inner.php. Paste that in. And now we have our logo. And obviously when we build our CMS, when we build the admin side, we'll be able to upload logos from the, um, from the admin area. So that's it, our front end is complete. Very, very simple. Obviously you can use your own designs and stuff like that for the front end. Um, so next we will start doing the admin area.